Today is Global Sickle Cell Awareness Day. It's a day meant to increase education and awareness about the disease that impacts millions of people around the world. It's a cause near and dear to author J.D. Slackard. He lost his best friend Luke Bodden to sickle cell disease. And since then, Slackard has gone on to write multiple books and is part of the Luke Strong Foundation supporting children with sickle cell disease. J.D., thank you so much for joining us and to talk about this and carrying on uh, Luke's legacy because you started out as a mentor to him when you were playing basketball at UC Santa Barbara, but unfortunately, Luke passed away. And you actually just recently gave the commencement speech at his, what would be his high school graduation. Yeah, that's right, Lisa, and thank you so much. I mean, it's great to be back in studio with you, a place that's feeling like home for me, and back in California after traveling all over the place talking about this story. Um, but yeah, I was recently honored with the opportunity to speak at what would have been Luke's high school graduation, which is also a high school I went to in Oak Park, California. Mm -hmm. And yeah, what a, what a tremendous opportunity to bring some uh, light and hope to students that knew Luke, were classmates of his, and kind of send them off in the right way. And what was your message to them about Luke and what you've learned just about sickle cell disease? Yeah, my message, I wanted to keep it simple, and it was this idea that uh, we all have to do a better job of smiling more. Um, mm -hmm. I think life can be complicated. Uh, we can all get down on ourselves and feel like we have so much going on. Mm -hmm. um, so I wanted to sort of give these students a simple message that's actually something Luke used to tell me all the time when I'd go and visit him in the hospital. He'd always say, J.D., you need to smile more. So Aww. I made that sort of my message uh, for those kids. I always say smile because it's free. <laughs> it's the one thing that's still free and we can is smiling. Control it. We yeah. can always control it. And laugh right. lines are much better than frown right. lines right. as well. <laughs> um, in terms of sickle cell awareness, what do you think is the most important thing for people to know about sickle cell? Yeah, absolutely. So in addition to today being Juneteenth, it's also Global Sickle Cell Awareness Day. So I'm hoping to raise funding and advocacy and awareness for this illness that took my best friend from me. And, uh, you know, something about sickle cell disease is it was uh, an illness I didn't really know much about growing up. And through meeting Luke and getting to know more of the foundation, yeah. um, I've gotten to learn quite a bit more. So a big part of what I'm doing is telling my story with Luke and saying, hey, anybody out there, if they're willing and able to give uh, any sort of funding towards this illness, it would be really helpful. You sent us a couple of pictures. Um, we want to show those pictures. What would you like to say, say about, about the photos that you sent us? Yeah, so I, these photos that, you know, are being displayed now are photos of me and Luke when we met uh, when I played mm -hmm. high school basketball. And uh, he used to be my biggest fan, so he would go to all of my games uh, and actually didn't miss a single one Aww. until he had to go into the hospital for a full year of isolation for a Aww. bone marrow transplant. And uh, that was really what started the bond of Luke and I. And, you know, mm -hmm. I met him when I was 17 and he was only six years old and mm -hmm. um, our bond was really strong as a result. So your goal was to raise twenty-four thousand. You've raised more than that. You've yep. raised. Yep. Yeah. We've raised thirty-five thousand wow. dollars. That's great. And if people want to contribute, how can they contribute? People can go ahead and contribute till the end of this week. Uh, this fundraiser I've been doing for the last few months concludes on June twenty-third, mm -hmm. and they can go ahead and donate on www.lukestrong.org mm -hmm. and find out more information about me there as well as about how to donate. And it's Luke, L-U-C. L-U-C, strong.org, yeah. All right, JD, thank you so much. Thanks for all that you're doing, carrying on Luke's legacy and helping raise awareness about sickle cell disease. We appreciate it.